Welcome back to the channel today. I wanted to do a quick video talking about motorcycles. So this is, I guess, the first episode of talking about motorcycles. Admit it, you're doing it anyway. So that's a new series. Um, uh, let's just talk about motorcycles and uh, something you should look for. So one thing I always keep an eye on are puddles under my bike. Now, if you have a nice, I don't know if you'd say clean floor, but whatever. Um, if you have a garage or something and your bike sits in a certain spot, it's really good to take notice as to what is on your floor. Now you have to remember that sometimes you spill something somewhere else and it doesn't have anything to do with what's currently there. But it always gives you a good indication of what might be leaking on your bike. Now obviously, uh, if you move your bike around, it might be harder to track this, but if you come out and you see a motorcycle or you see a puddle under your bike, it's pretty easy to look up underneath and follow where that might be coming from. I mean, you could lick the floor or, you know, test it, see what it is. In this case, I know we have gasoline. And uh, if you look up underneath, you can see, let's see if I can get you lined up here. You follow what's wet up to the point where you find a dry spot. So this is wet. And then you look up in here, and I already looked at this so I know, the wetness is coming from the fuel line, right by the fuel filter. So you can diagnose where that is dry and wet, what might be leaking. So that's pretty easy to find here. Luckily it's under the bike, it's pretty easy to get to. I either need to replace the fuel line, and I'm gonna replace this fuel filter anyway. But we have a fuel leak, another fuel leak on the magnet. Now, this sat dry for a while, so I guess it, it stopped dripping. But now we have a fuel leak and it is obvious. That looks like a new one too. What's dripping there? Well, I'll have to figure that out. Not sure what exactly that is, but. So, definitely know that we need to look at that. Now we go to the shadow. Shadow sitting where it is for quite some time. And I believe this is a new leak. But it is definitely growing and it's wet. And I can tell you that is coming from the brake caliper. There's a drip on the brake caliper. Now I can look over here. It's not the line. It's not the banjo bolt. So it's leaking from somewhere in the brake caliper on the front. So we're probably going to have to pull that off and figure out where exactly it's coming from and why. Because it really shouldn't be leaking. I mean, those lock up a lot, but shouldn't be leaking. Not sure if I have any other ones to show you. This magnet is not leaking anything. Of course, there's no gas hooked up. But... I guess that's about it for now without digging into something else. But I just wanted to uh, give that as a little tip for you. I mean, obviously, you might have, you want to diagnose it as coolant, which would be, coolant dries pretty quick. But it would be more of like a, probably a greenish substance. Um, gasoline's pretty easy to smell, pretty easy to, to, to take oil obviously more oily substance more kind of greasy so you're either looking for brake fluid coolant oil or gasoline so those are the tips for the day so have a great day hopefully uh we always do fix it projects on the channel so i'm gonna have to show you there's not much to show you to fix this gas leak just put in a new filter and uh, hopefully the line doesn't need replaced. But if it does, we replace the line and we're good to go. So have a great day. Get out and ride and take care of your leaks. Have a great one. Subscribe, everyone. See you later.